In this video, we are going to discuss inputters. So, inputting refers to using a model to replace missing values. So, that means whenever we are having some missing values in the data set, how to replace the missing value with some other value using some logic. So, that will be handled by this imputing process. So, there are many options we could consider when replacing a missing value. We are having some examples here. So, example here is a constant value that has meaning with the domain such as 0 distinct from all other values. So, depending upon the domain obviously, domain means from the uh, that is a collection of data from where the data value came. So, that is why we can select in case of say numeric domain, we can select 0 that is a distinct from all other values. A value from another randomly selected record. So, we can select the respective attribute value which is missing. We can select any other record randomly and you can pick up the respective attribute value to replace this missing value. A mean, median or mode value for the column. A value estimated by another predictive model. So, there are multiple different ways in which we can fill up this missing values, we can handle with the missing values. Any imputing performed on the training data set will have to be performed on the new data in future when predictions are needed from the finalized model. As example, if you choose to impute with mean column values, these mean column values will need to be stored to a file for the later use on the new data that has missing values. So, if I found, if I, if I, if I decide that we shall be filling up those or replacing those missing values by the, by the column mean in that case, those mean values respective columns are to be saved in a certain file. So, that when the new tuples will be coming with some missing values in some attributes, then from the file we shall pick up the respective missing value which was nothing but the mean of the column in the previous instance of the data set to replace that one. So, that has to be maintained. Using Python imputers missing values can be replaced by the mean, the median or the most frequent value using the strategy hyper parameter. So, there are multiple different ways with the help of which we can deal with the missing values. So, let us go for one practical example for the better understanding on this topic. So, here is the example for you. Let us discuss sklearn dot preprocessing imputer class. So, how to use it in our python code to handle with the missing values. So, at first we are going for preliminaries. So, we are importing pandas, import pandas as pd, import numpy as np and also from sklearn.preprocessing import imputer. So, imputer is nothing but a class under which you will be defining objects passing some hyperparameters. So, at first we are creating one data. So, one data frame we are going to create. So, we are creating the empty data set at first. So, that is a empty data frame we are creating. The data frame object is df and then it is going to have two columns. One is the x0, another one is the x1. So, two column heads are there. Here we are having the set of values. Here we are having the set of values. You can find that this particular value has been initialized with the respective none. That is our np.nn. What is the np.nn? That is a numpy, not a number. So, here we are having one missing value there and here we are printing the respective data frame here. So, let me execute my code. So, here you can find that my data set has got, my data frame has got printed and here we are having one nn. What is the nn? That is the not a number. So, now we are going for fit imputer. So, create an imputer object that looks for nn values then replaces them with the mean value of the, of the feature by columns axis is equal to 0. What is the meaning of axis is equal to 0? That means along the column, that means not along the row, along the column wise, we will be doing the respective replacement. So, mean imputed, we are defining one object under the class imputed, passing parameters, that is a missing values is equal to nan. Say we are having say a missing value means those particular cells having got the value 0. So, we are passing the respective value here. Strategy is equal to mean. So, here we are going to replace it by the mean values and then axis is equal to 0 that is column wise. So, what are the strategies are there? Let me go for some more detailing about this imputer class. So, here I am having this help imputer. So, let me execute it. It will give me the idea. So, help on class imputer in module escalon dot preprocessing dot imputation. 
So here we are having the class imputed, which is having some set of parameters. So we are having the missing values is equal to NN, strategy is equal to mean, axis is equal to zero, barbus is equal to zero, copy is equal to true. So here we can find that these are the default values are there. So now for the missing values, the integer, we can put some integer or NN option, optional default will be NN and so on. And for the strategy, the default is mean, other strategies are there, median and most frequent. So if mean, then replace missing values using the mean along the axis. And if median, then replace the missing values with the median along the axis. And if most frequent, then replace the missing using the most frequent value along the axis. So here the axis will be by default zero. So axis is equal to zero means along the columns, axis is equal to one means impute along the rows. We're having the verbose that is the integer optional default is zero controls the verbosity of the imputer. We're having the copy that is a boolean optional and here the default value is true. If copy, a copy of X will be created if false the imputation will be done in place whenever possible note that in the following cases a new copy will will always be made even if the copy is equal to false so for this particular cases the new column will be created always when the whenever also the copy is equal to false is there so this is a respective uh, help uh, we are av availing against the class imputer so you can go through it later on for the detailing and this is a code which has to be executed to get the same. Okay, now let me come to my point. So missing values is equal to NN. So we are considering that NN will be considered as a missing value. Strategy is equal to min and axis is equal to zero. That is the column wise. And train the imputer on the DF data set. So now here we are going for the training this imputer on the DF data set. So that is a mean underscore imputer. So whatever the object we define under the class imputer. So mean underscore imputer dot df. So the data frame has been given. So the respective columns, the NN will be replaced by the mean of the column. Here also you can make median if I if I like to do so. So apply the imputer to the data set. So now impute df is equal to mean imputer dot transform df dot values. So here we are having the respective transformation will take place and then we are going for the view of the data. So now let me execute this one and then we are going for this. Now viewing this one, you can find that initially this one is having the NN in the column number X1 attribute name X1. So here you can see that the attribute name X1 here the it has been replaced by 0.49273333. So notice that 0.49273333 is the imputed value he replacing the np.nn value. So in this way, in this particular program, we have given you the demonstration. I'm just putting all the codes in front of you so that you can see. You can also type the same. You can do the experiments at your end. Here also you can go for the median to get it. Let me do it that one for you. So we are going for this median. I'm not changing this object names, so let it be there. So now if you print it, you can find that the NN value has been replaced by the respective median one. So I think you have got the idea that how to use this escalon.preprocessing imputer uh, class uh, to do the imputation on our data set on the null values. Thanks for watching this video.